What is up YouTubers and YouTubettes? So, I have gone ahead and opened up 15 of these packs into here without the water. And so, I'm gonna take all 15 of the water packs and I'm gonna dump them into here. Just like so. But I'll, I'll do that and I'll be right back. I said screw it and I went with 21. And so now what I'm going to do is stir it. And so I've only done the packs and the water that was in the packs. Nothing else has been added yet. And of course now this should be getting very cold being it's a endothermic reaction which is opposite of exothermic, it's endothermic. Looks like I got a little a couple pieces of floaties in there. But I'm just gonna keep stirring it until all the chunks are broke down. And then at that point, I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. It'll be all the way until the calcium settles out and the liquid's gone clear on top and so what's going to happen here is the ammonia the ammonium nitrate is going to get dissolved by the water and the calcium nitrate is not and the calcium nitrate is actually going to change forms also it's going to change into calcium carbonate leaving the nitrate atoms or whatever they are on the ammonium and so, I'm actually almost there now. You can see the, they're getting pretty tiny. Like my Wendy's spoon. Straight out of a Frosty. <laughs> Speaking of Frosties, Wendy's is selling their $2, um, frosty key tag things and so every time you go to Wendy's if you have one of those they'll give you a free uh, junior frosty with with or without purchase and so I always buy a few of them so that way I bargain a large frosty out of them instead of giving me a bunch of small ones <laughs> and then they're also great presents to people just love frosties they're especially good with french fries dipped in them but anyways, um, I'm going to keep stirring this, and then I'm going to let it settle out. So I decided to open up one more so I can show you what's in it. So here's the water bag. And then here's... Oh, dang it. And so then here's the instant cooling bag. And I'll show you what these look like. And so here's what these look like before they go in. Just little white balls. Just figured I'd show you guys that real quick. Something else I wanted to add was, so since it, this is an endothermic reaction, the balls in here aren't all going to dissolve really fast. And so you won't need to add more water. You're just going to have to wait. I mean, this thing is literally getting ice on the outside of it now from getting so cold. And so since it's the reaction's so cold, the dissolvability is going to go way down. And so you just have to wait for it to heat back up so that way all the balls can break down and go into solution. But you do not need to add more water. Although, if you do add more water, it won't hurt. You can add as much water as you want. You cannot ruin this reaction by adding too much water. And, yeah. So I've decanted it one time, and now I'm about to do it one more time. And then, um, 
once it settles out, I'll either decide to decant it again or to just run it through a filter at that point. You don't want to run it through a filter at first because this will just plug up the filter so fast that it'll, it'll just be miserable to watch it. Decanting it is much faster. Um, yeah, and so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna decant this again and we'll see what we get. Here's my solution. So I'm gonna decant this this last time. And then I'm going to run it through a filter. Oh man, that does not look good. A little bit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm decant this. And then I'm going to filter it. And then we're going to um, start boiling it down. Alright, filtering away. Filter, filter, filter. Keep those puppies filtering. Rawhide. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't need to watch this. Well, I went ahead and filtered it again. And it didn't really make any difference. Here's all the, um, the calcium that I pulled out. And so I'm going to filter this. And then we'll do some tests on it to prove what it exactly is. But I'm going to start uh, heating that up and boiling it. And now when we boil it, we don't want to exceed 250 uh, degrees because that will then start causing the ammonia nitrate to break down. And so then that will release nitrous oxide into the air, plus it will diminish our um, what we get. Well, I've got it more a little more than half of it evaporated away and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool and the crystals that form I'm gonna scrape them out and there will still be a decent amount of liquid in there um, as you can see though there's still a little bit of like yellowing in there which I just can't get that out um, but it's not gonna be a big deal anyways as you'll see at the end, I'll also have super white crystals. Um, but yeah, so this is, I'm gonna let this solidify up. So I made a mistake. I froze it and left it in there a little bit too long. But it kind of brought me to a weird thing. I assumed that it was gonna all be frozen. As you can see, there's liquid in there that's not froze. And it's been over a day. But now if you look at the bottom, You can, well, I'm trying to see if you can see. But you can see all the nice crystals that had formed in there. But unfortunately, I'm going to let this all melt and see what I'm get back and see what it turns into. But again, it won't hurt nothing to do this. It just hurts my time. <laughs> Well, I decanted the water as it melted off, and as you can see, I'm left with a bunch of beautiful white crystals. And, um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of water left in here, but not very much. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm taking half of this, and half of it's going to go into the rest of this, and then the other half, I'm going to stick in an oven and dry like 110 degrees. <clears throat> I have a little tiny oven that I do my experiments, cooking crap in. And so, for my solution I have left over, you can see there's still some crystals in the bottom. I'll decant the, to get to those, and then uh, um, I'll, I might um, distill off some more solutions and see if I, how much I get. But, I mean, it probably won't be that much because it's still ice cold. And so it's just going to have very, very little in the solution. And so, yeah. And so that's how you get ammonium nitrate, just like that. So to finish off your ammonium nitrate, you just take it, filter it, and then this stuff here, filter that, and then heat it up in a oven or something to dry it out. And then put it in a nice storage container, and that part's done. And so now for the 
I'll get this ready for the next part. Well, I got all my ammonium nitrate in here. Don't forget, always label your stuff. It's so easy to forget when you get just a, tons of different chemicals. Anyways, um, I've got 40 grams of my ammonium nitrate in here. And then I've got 100 milliliters of saturated potassium chloride solution. And it's a temperature here in my garage. It's like 45 degrees or so. So it'll be holding about 39 um, grams of potassium chloride. And so now I'm going to combine the two and they will cause a decomposition reaction or a double decomposition reaction. So then I'll end up with uh, potassium nitrate and ammonium chloride. Uh, and so I'm going to stir this to get it dissolved and be back. Well, it's all in solution now. So I'm going to stick it in the fridge and let it cool down and it should form a bunch of needle-like crystals. And so that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and then um, we'll go over what happened with the um, calcium carbonate. So if this was calcium nitrate or hydroxide, that's, this piece of foil would have been dissolved because calcium hydroxide will eat aluminum foil. Um, the next thing is I put um, this stuff into vinegar, uh, which gave it its most reaction, but it still wasn't much, just barely some foam. Um, then I also put it... Oh, I also burned some, because if it was a calcium nitrate, you'd be able to burn it and explode it, and it that didn't work. And then I put some in muriatic acid, which this one was muriatic acid, and this one was vinegar. Uh, the muriatic acid, it had the quickest dissolving to it, but um, basically no side effects as far as what it did. And so I'm still convinced that you get calcium carbonate back out of the out of this reaction from the very start and here it is Let's see if I can get a good picture stupid phone but anyways it's got real nice strong, long needle crystals. Oh, you can kind of see them that way. There you go. So anyways, I'm just going to let this continue to precipitate out. And then, um... I'm going to separate the two, and in the liquid it's going to have a, a ammonium chloride. And so don't throw the liquid away. So, um, so you're going to get your crystals out, and then dry it. And then you'll have to, you'll um, boil off or, uh, the other liquid, and then you'll have um, your ammonium chloride. So that way you get three parts from this reaction which is kind of nice. And that's the finished product. All nice and purdy. Well guys, till next time, have a good one.